Alright guys, I know this is Christmas and I shouldn't be doing a YouTube video today, but I am. And it, as you can see, is not a gun today, but a gear video. Preferably, or actually, namesake, the Hope's 24-piece kit I got from Amazon about a couple months ago. Now I'm going to tell you why you don't see the full rod here. Well, you can kind of see by the bend on that. But, um, this video is on head cam today. It's a, uh, head strap for a GoPro my mom actually got me for Christmas. So, thank you, Mom. This is going to make a world of difference. And, let's get started here. First off, you got your extender pieces, your patch pieces your brushes, your fiber brushes to get the remaining oil and, well frankly I'm just going to be frank about it, shit, because I'm not a uh, politically correct YouTuber like some of you people are. Um, I do cuss, and you will hear me cuss if I do screw or fuck up. So let's get down to it. Things I like about the kit. It comes with pretty much every brush aside from your AR-15 setup. Stuff I don't like. The quality. I've bent three of these in one gun. And the gun was not that bad off. And let's uh, just let you say hi to the uh, channel mascot here, Buzz, the Bearded Dragon. As you can see, he is being quite clever and uh, looking down at the shiny objects like he usually does when I do these videos. Usually you can see right where the GoPro is attached onto his uh, cage there. And, you know, like I say, my hopes clean and kit, my brake free, the rim oil wipes, the, you know, the works. But uh, back to the actual video. These brushes are literally some of the worst brushes I have ever had. Um, the Glock cleaning brush, if I could find it, actually, it's probably in its case. Pardon me, it's kind of a messy time in my room here. But, uh, let me just pull out the Glock cleaning case for you. Put that back over here with the rest of it. This brush is better quality than these. And as you can see... It's not metal. It's a, it's a plastic compound brush. As you can see, it doesn't bend as well as, you know, the same thickness of your 22 or 27 brush. Um, these guys are non-absorbent whatsoever. I have never had good luck with them. And, pardon my French again, but this whole set is just, it's not even worth the 20 bucks I paid for it online. I think I actually paid closer to 30 with shipping. But what this really is, is your I don't know what the hell I'm doing with guns set up. So I'm just going to go buy what, you know, has the best review on Amazon. And now I'm not dinging Amazon and saying that, that most of their reviews are, you know, bought and sold by the company selling the products but it seems like 90% of them are. Now, if you ever see any of my reviews on eBay or Amazon, it comes straight from me. I am not paid by the company to say it. Um, and again, it comes with this cheesy, sorry for the, f sorry for the blinding glare here, but the cheesy aluminum uh, casing. The only thing good about the casing is its felt liner. Other than that, you're better off with just junking this and putting it into an old pistol case. Um, what recommendations? Boar snakes, for one. They'll do your job. All you gotta do is, you know, worry about the rope fraying, and that's easy to deal with. If you know anything about ropes, you just take a lighter and melt it straight in. Now, I'm not saying doing that if the metal's starting to fray, because that could actually cause something worse, but... Um, this kit... I've bent three of these brushes, and at $1.99, they're not the best value in the world. Um, 
you got your 30 caliber brushes and all that. This one I've had good work with. It, it's starting to bend up a little bit, but it's still going. The 20 gauge brushes, their shotgun brushes are good. But their lower caliber rifle brushes, I'm sorry, helps, but please make an effort to make them better. Um, and definitely your piece of shit rods. I have bent, I have snapped, and frankly, utterly destroyed a gun cleaning rod when I shouldn't have. Now, products that they do well, their lubrication, their lubricating oil, and, well, their patches. Not, <laughs> not the crap fiber patches that you can get in the packs of a thousand. Unless you go to, you know, like Sportsman's and get the good cloth ones, but then you're going to be paying about 10, 20 bucks more. They're good value for the budget, but let's get down to it. Would I buy this or recommend this set to anybody? Hell no. You're better off dropping, you know, a hundred bucks on a good setup and it'll cover every gun you're going to need. Or every gun you're going to get. Frankly, every gun you're going to want, too, but that's a different story if you have gun fever like I do. <laughs> I hope to get a lever action in the groups here soon. It's going to make this uh, YouTube channel a lot more fun. I fired them before at a machine gun shoot that I usually work during the summer. And hopefully they'll allow me to take some uh, good GoPro videos this year if I go back. Eh. So the Hopes 24-piece kit? Meh. This has been Trenton with the Budget Shooter Project on Headcam today, and <laughs> have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, y'all.